hello guys welcome back to coding cafe now in this video tutorial we will work on our login activity we will allow a user to log in into his account by providing his email and password so let's do that so go to the android studio and let's close this main activity and let's go to the login activity and here you can see that we have successfully caused the i mean these are our fields on our login activity and we have assigned ids to it and we have successfully initialized the button and the text view and the edit text fields or you can say the input fields on our main activity on our login activity .java file and also we have caused these things uh, successfully in the previous video tutorials as you remembered okay so now the next thing is that is we have to set a click listener on this login button that is if a user click on this login button then we have to get the email and password and we have to check that either the user exists or not if the user exists then we will allow the user to sign in into his account okay so yeah let's do that so here we can say after this new need new account link we can simply say login button dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside this on click method we can simply say we are going to create a method in which we are basically we will allow a user to log in into his account so let's call this method as uh, allowing user to log in okay so let's create this method okay which we call here so create method inside the login activity so this is our method which we created okay and then now inside this we can simply get the email and password from this edit text field or you can say from this input field so we can say a string the first uh, the first one is email and we can say user email dot get text dot to string the second one is the password so we can say string password equals to user password dot get text dot to string and now we have to add validations on these two fields on the email and password so we can say if text that is if the if the email field is empty then we have to notify the user to please to please write his email okay and here we can say please write your email oh sorry and now we can simply copy this if statement and we have to change it for the password so we can say else and paste that code here and instead of email we can say password this time and we can say password that's it now we can say else and inside this else statement we have to code for uh, allowing the user to sign in okay so here we can say m auth oh we have to get the firebase auth first so here above we can say private firebase auth m auth and then above this input fields we inside the on create method we can say m auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance and now come down here and inside this else statement we can say m auth dot sign in sign in sign in with uh, you with email and password okay this one sign in with email and password the first the first parameter it need is the email the second parameter it need is the password okay and then we can say dot add on complete listener new on complete listener and make sure to put a semicolon here first and then inside this on complete we can say if the task is successful task dot is successful then we have to display a message which will tell the user that is you are 
log login logged in logged in successfully okay so this is our toast message and the next thing is that is if the task is unsuccessful if any error occurs then we have to get the error message and we have to display that message so we can say string message equals to task dot get exception dot to string sorry dot get message okay dot get message and we are storing it inside the string data type variable which is message and let's display a message here which is toast okay and uh, we have here we can say error error occurred and we have to tell the error message or you can say the error error type to the to the user which is stored inside the message string type variable okay which is this one so yeah that's it and now we have to add a progress dialog on our login activity so yeah let's do that so here we can say private progress dialog let's call it loading bar and as you know that instead of writing uh, writing it again and again for the time saving i will just copy the code as you know that we have already used this on our register activity so go to the register activity and for the time saving we will simply copy that okay so let's copy this uh, loading bar equal to new progress dialog okay and let's go to login activity and here on our uh, on create method we will do the same here okay so paste that here okay and then go to the register activity and we can simply copy the title the message and the show and this okay now go to the login activity and paste that here above that's it okay and now when the task is successful then what we're going to do we have to just dismiss the loading bar here okay and also when the task is unsuccessful then we are going to dismiss the loading bar in that case too okay so the loading bar will be dismissed and we are going to if the task is successful then we are also going to send the user to the main activity okay so here above we can say we are going to create a method which is uh, send user to the main activity so let's do that we can say send user to main activity this this is the method which we are going to develop so we call that method here and now let's create this method okay create method inside login activity so our method is created successfully okay now inside this method we are going to create an intent which will send the user to the main activity so we can call it main intent equals to new intent okay and uh, we say that is login activity dot this login activity dot this let's send the user to the main activity dot class and then we can say we have to add the validation that is by pressing the back button the user will not be allowed to come back to the login activity unless he have to click on the logout button on the main activity so we can say main intent dot add flags intent dot flag activity clear flag activity new task this pipe sign and then we can say intent dot flag activity clear task for the semicolon here start the activity for the main intent and then we have to finish it so yeah that's it so before we run our app all we need is to as you know that we are on the login activity so we have to set this uh, I mean the title for our login activity so we can say login login yes login into 
your okay login okay this is basically the login uh, progress dialog so we can say the title will be login and we can say please wait while we are while we are allowing you to login into your account okay that's it and now let's run our app so our app is running now successfully and now let me write my email okay and then we can say so now let's click on login and it says please wait while we are allowing you to and you can see that I am login successfully okay so to the main activity if I click here let's click log out so that you can see that the logout working is also working fine now let me log in again now let's click on the login button so you can see that it is working fine okay so everything is working fine now the next thing is that is in the next video tutorial instead of sending the user to the main activity directly we have to add validation for the user existing existence in the Firebase database because you know that till now we have just authenticated the user using Firebase authentication. The second step is I mean the two step verification which we will be checking is also to check the user the record in the database into the Firebase database. So we will be doing that in the upcoming video tutorial. Okay. So yeah, this is it for this video and in the next video we will do that okay so yeah if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel like this video press the bell icon if you haven't subscribed our channel then please subscribe our channel press the bell icon thumbs up for this video and let us know in the comment section below if you have any confusion and uh, yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now